Greetings, I'm Berent, and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. We are doing an unboxing video today of the paper components to Myth. This I've been waiting for since 2016. I'm so excited for this. This game is one of my favorite games. I've actually done a playthrough on the channel. It's actually going on right now at the time of this recording. We've gotten through the first two acts in the Stone of Life. If you look at my playlists or look for any of my videos on this channel. The third video, the third act is actually going to be coming up pretty soon. I'm so stoked for these materials because in this box is a whole bunch of new components that we can add to the myth experience. There's a man named Mike Callahan who has actually already done a pretty good unboxing video of this. You should check it out. I believe you can find him on YouTube under Mike Callahan. Or if you just search for Journeyman unboxing videos or something, you might find him. And if you can't find him there, I'm posting a link down below because he's awesome. Not only has he put an unboxing video of this stuff on, uh, on YouTube, he also is a member of the Facebook community that has gone just, that has just been resurgent, has had a resurgence because of this product. I'm so excited for the way that this game is starting to become just more and more loved by the community. It's had its ups and downs over the last few years, and I hope that this box alone, this box, not only this box, hopefully the miniatures, when they come, are hoping within about a year, they will cause the community to not only embrace this game, but just love it for everything you can. I, I no, no, I'm getting excited. I'm really excited for this. Now, I already opened the box because <laughs> it's about school time, and we've been <laughs> receiving a few packages, and I didn't exactly know what this was. And so until we really realized what it was, I was like, well, I better open it up, see what it is. So I got my handy-dandy tool, and we're going to open up the rest of the boxes that are in here. Now, I, I, I actually pledged for a lot of different things for this. I was part of the first Kickstarter, but I didn't go for everything then. I did in this journeyman Kickstarter. So I just want to show you what I pledged for and hopefully it gives you an understanding or an idea of what you might be receiving when you get this box, if you are getting this box. So it comes with one cardboard box, two cardboard boxes, and then it's got the journeyman. I went in all in on the modules and as you can tell in my straining voice, oh, this is really heavy. And then we also have got the stretch goals as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, take the shrink wrap off all this stuff. I can't even get this one out of the box. It's so excited to be here. Okay, come on. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the shrink wrap off this stuff and cut it open. And we're going to go through it as best I can. If I go through it and there's still stuff you want to see, let me know. And I'll make sure to put it in the final video of my myth playthrough. And we'll go through it with even more detail. So let's get to unboxing. All right, I got the shrink wrap off everything. We're gonna start with this first box. Now, each one, I've, now like I said, I pledged for maybe different things than some other people, but I just thought I should like to show you what I've got. Now, I pledged for those myth colored dice, which look really cool. And if you have the Dark Frontiers game, you already got a set of these. So now I've got like double the amount. That's really neat. And this is also one of the tile supplements. I'm gonna cut that open really quick. So here's the tile supplement. It's, I kind of got it. Let's see what it says. MS, MCX5503. <laughs> and these are the tiles that come in this pack. If you receive a pack like this, you should get a realm tiles like this. Now, sadly, I have to admit, I'm not exactly 100% sure on every single thing that I'm getting as what is stretch goals and what is not. I believe these are the realm tile supplement that I picked up. And so you've got... This is the one that I think can turn into a whole like dungeon. And on the back side, I bet it's the town. Yep, okay, that's what this one is. So they made a whole set of realm tiles that are built to create a town and also one that's built to create like a dungeon that they say they're thinking about using in future content. So that'll be really neat. So this, this tile set and that's this dice. Now they all came packed in this box right here. Now let's get the next box out. Now the next box, is going to be <laughs> something I've been really excited about, and that's that myth book. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. I'm gonna get the shrink wrap off this. Okay, this thing is gorgeous, and it even comes with at least some protection, so it should be in pretty good condition. I don't see any issues with it at all. All the 
it's really well packaged. A little bit of a bend up here, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm not a person that's really big into making everything exactly perfect, but this book looks awesome. It even it's got the gold on this. Oh, wow, the leather, you can feel it. If you did not get this, I'm really sorry. This thing looks really cool and it's a lot bigger and the camera itself is just not gonna give it justice. I guarantee you. It even comes with a fold out map of myth. And then called by the age of tears and tears by some. It was an age of distress. So a whole big thing on lore. Oh, look at this. So cool. Okay, and then it breaks it down. Oops, I banged my camera. Sorry about that. Let me get that back in focus here. Zoop. All right, that was an earthquake. We got rules stuff here, which looks really cool. Introduction, setup, game round, okay, and quests. And that goes all the way to page 50. So we're going to skip all the way past that to page 50 now. Whoosh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Page 50. Let's see what's on 51. Nope, 50 is still quests. 51. Slaughter field rules. Tavern mode. Oh, here's the... Okay, hey, you got that thing. This is the solo adventure. So this is in here as well, how to use this module. It's a, supposed to be a solo adventure from what I gather. Yep, single player module right there. It says it right here, single player module. All right, cool. And again, Mike did a great video explaining how this works. So I'm also gonna post that in, this com in the comment section below as well. So you can find that all the way to act five, lots of stuff. Then it goes through and explains each one of the heroes. And on the back side, it also shows the journeyman group too. Oh, come on, turn the page. There it is, Boom. there you go. Elementalist and Weaver, cool. Archer, oh cool, this is awesome. Ranger and Duelist. Okay, let's, I'm excited to see some of these. Scas, there's the Spriggan. And these things are Virtuoso and Warden. Oh, this is so awesome. We got the Trickster. The Hunter, I know it sounds like the pages are ripping, but it's almost like they're just coming apart from each other. So it's really, it's not damaging anything at all. The Slayer and Tinker, oh, that looks cool. Here's a Swashbuckler, the Outsider. Oh, this is good. The Pirate and the Forsaken, oh, so awesome. Ha, I can't get enough of this. Here's the Mixologist, Personal Allies. The Mixologist is the Alter Ego of the Alchemist. I know the bottom half of this book is in here, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh, look at this. Here's the edge and the sif. Oh boy, the pupil. We've been playing with the pupil. He's pretty sweet. Oh, I'm so digging. I so want to play this character. Okay, let's keep going here. And then we go through and it looks like it's got a bestiary. bestiary. And that goes all the way through the world bosses as well. Wow, cool. Oh, there's everybody's favorite. There he is. Where'd he go? I just saw him a second ago. Yardo. <laughs> all right. Everybody's wondering why he came in the base box when you got a bunch of crawlers. Okay, let's see what else we got. The collector. Oh, there's the giant. Yeah, we'll move it up a little bit for you. Sorry. Oh, this looks so awesome. The darkness. Here's the world eater. The darkness. It talks about that. Oh, and look at all the neat artwork. I just love the art of myth. It's one of the things that drew me to this game. It's so good. All right, and here's all the different things that are coming. We've got Dark Frontiers. Here's the expansions. This is the original Myth game. A couple of the modules they put out, and then I believe these are all the rest of the modules. And we're going to get to those shortly. Oh, boy. Okay, I've spent too much time on this book. This book is awesome. I'm going to read this from cover to cover because I'm so excited. All right, next we got myth modules. I went on the all in for this one, so I do have all the modules. I don't know if you only did one, if you got just the one, or if you did just a couple, you got all of them, or if you just they just sent all the modules to you. I don't know. I got I went for an all in module tech, so I've got all of them. The old ones, which is a three star or three skull. The Siege of Farinrock, which is a four skull. Lost Horde of Blackwall, two skull. Golden Gear, two skull. The Fury of the Fireborn, oh, it's remade, that's awesome. Two, the Four Pillars of Creation is three, and the Dark Under is two, Awakening of the Hurant, Hurini, I don't know. I'm terrible at reading things sometimes. Two and a half, how about that? And that's all of these. I'm not going to show you any of them because I don't want to spoil anything. 
If you want to know anything about these, please leave in the comments below. I can at least maybe glance in here and look for something, but I, again, I don't want to know exactly everything that's going on here, so I'm not going to go in depth into anything, but if you have a question about, a couple of questions about these, please let me know. Here's the tiles that go along with them. And guys, guys and gals, people of all ages, there are a ton, a ton of tiles for these. Oh boy, this is going to be awesome. Front and back. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, look at this. Oh, good, 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 good. All oh, these two go together. That's going to be sweetness. I'm going to go like that. Who knows? It's going to be awesome. I'm going to do whatever the module tells me to do. Why don't I put them back in here? Because I'm going to pull more out. All right. We also got these two tiles. They're going to add more to it. Oh, you know what? Maybe these are the slaughter field things on the back. Maybe not. I don't know. Here's some more tiles. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Pause the video. Look at these. Sweet, sweet. All these are sweet, sweet. I feel like a song. Sweet, sweet. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at this one, too. That's so cool. We got the fire. I bet that dragon goes in the middle here. When, I, when we get it, it goes right there. Who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now because I'm just so excited. It looks like a little churchy thing here. Oh, look at that one. That one looks pretty cool. Oh, look at these. They all kind of look like kind of go together. Oh, yeah, this guy goes together. It's pretty cool. All right. Oh, wow. More stuff. All right, two more left. I know I'm going fast. And <laughs> I just can't stop flipping these. Every time I flip one, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And they do come with all the punch boards, too. So you can get every punch board you need. Which even comes with the, uh, oh my goodness, Karen, what is the title after you've complete the thing? I'm sure you get titles for each of them. Yeah, they all have titles. Okay, and they've got a little bit more of the layer things, and then some tokens. I don't know what they do, but they're obviously for each of these modules. You got Planeswalker. It says what I have to say here. When performing non-combat action, reduce the TN by two. If you succeed, your next attack gains one damage. Oh, I totally need that one. Fighting crawlers. All right, that's awesome. Pillar of Calamity. Some other ones. Demon Bane. I don't even know what that one's for. Oh, here's the Master of the Machines. This is the gear, the gear one. Once per act, the hero may reduce their threat by six. Well, that sounds pretty sweet. Sludge Guzzler. Well, here's some of the allies, but I'm, in theory, we're getting, uh, what do you call it, miniatures for them. Oh, these are the same same color ones that are you get in the Dark Frontier stuff. Cool. Oh, here's the water guys. There you go. That's all the punch boards. So that is everything in this box, I believe. I'm going to pull this out. Yep, that's everything. All right, so everything does fit nicely back in the box, too. It's going to be sweet. All right, put these guys back in here, and we're going to just... Pile this all on and slide it to the side and go to the next thing. I'm going to bump my camera a couple more times. Now that was the module pack. Now we're going to go on to, here's the stretch goals. This is another thing people have been waiting for. I'm going to move my maneuver my camera a little bit. All right, there you go. That's a little bit better. Okay. And here's the stretch goals. Again, like I said, I went in for everything. So again, I believe everybody gets this box exactly the way it is. I can't guarantee that. Um, I don't know how to guarantee that, so I just don't want to say anything false. But here's some more punch boards, and these are for the three modules that we got in our stretch goals. So these are the punch boards for them. We got, again, more titles here, and more punch boards. Some demons. That's no good. We don't like demons. Symbio and the Undead. Okay, here's some of those. And here are awesome player things. Look at that dice pool. 3d10 and one fate dice for malice oh that's sweet here's the monk all the base guys usually always start out about the same 1d10 and one fate dice five health goes to seven health oh that's really good it's here oh here's the slayer the slayer is 2d10 and two fate dice ready one ammo card and a malice pool of four so it looks like a lot of these extra characters are going to start using malice that's kind of neat regrowth one hmm i'm guessing it means a heal of some kind for the warden I haven't really looked into it. Here's our alchemist. He starts, readies one ingredient. This one he raised two ingredients. He has two fate dice. That's pretty cool. Our virtuoso, three fate dice and plus one hand size. That's sweet. All right, and that's these guys. Those are some of the player boards there. And then we got a neat little token. 
I don't know, is that Robbie the Robot? Here we have him, Nintendo guy or something. Was his name Robbie the Robot, something like that? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm just really excited. Avatar of Shadows and it is a one star, and so is The Rot. Is also the one skull, sorry, star. Skull rating. I called the other one stars, too. All right. This is the Scourge of the Symbio. It's a two skull. Okay, these are three modules we were supposed to get as part of the stretch goal. So everybody should, in theory, be getting these. Now, we don't have, I'm not going to go through these and look at them. But if you do, like I, said, like I said, if you have any questions about what's in these modules, let me know and I can maybe find a general question answer. But I'm not going to go through and can you tell me who the main boss is and what his stats are? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, because that'll be, I'd like to know that myself. Maybe I will play one of these modules and then we'll see how it all transpires. Here's the rest of our guys. What is this? I can't even get it out. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this is for the tavern mode. Okay, these are all the guys for the tavern mode. Got it. Okay. These are all tavern mode dudes. Um, let's see here. It looks like they all start with pretty much the same thing. Yeah, every one of them starts pretty much with the same 2D10. Let's see if I can get one in focus here. 2D10 of fate dice, I don't know, eight drunken status or beer. I don't know. Uh, three vic victory points or uh, vitality points or something, and a seven defense. I don't know what any of this is. I have not looked at the tavern mode yet, so I don't know what all that means. But this is all for the tavern mode, this entire punch board. So we're going to put that aside. And here's the rules for tavern mode as well. It's right here. And I believe that's all that's in here. Yeah, this is one whole big thing about the tavern mode. So it is in here for sure. And on the back of the tavern mode, there are some other things. And somebody did ask... If Nikki did make it, yeah, Nikki's right here. Dice pool, 2D10, 5, 5, and 2. So she is in here. So if people are wondering if whether or not she made it. But they do have all these other people. Some of these people I remember from the Dark Frontier stuff, which is kind of cool. So there we go. That's the rest of the tavern mode stuff. I thought I'd answer one of those questions. I remember hearing that somewhere that somebody asked that question. And here's all the decks of cards. All right, here's the deal. I will go through these decks of cards in a general fashion. I'm not going to show every card up to the camera. I am not going to read every card to the camera. I am going to do my very best to explain what each set of these cards are. So I'm going to open all these and I'm going to come back and we're going to go through these as best we can. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the item cards. Here's the deal. These are, they do come with some starter items for the people that don't have them. Uh, for example, here's the Scalds. Um, the jagged stone and the tool bag. Now, if you look at the back, you can kind of tell a little bit. This is such a mundane symbol that that really is going to signify these are your brown items. So they do come with some brown items. Now, they do come with some white items as well. And as you can tell, the more ornate the symbol, the more of an upgrade the, the card is. So these are your white items. And they all came in number one. It has a little number one up here, and they're all the same. They're all in the front number one. So these are all items for number one. I don't think they redid the gold card, the cards that give you gold, because I don't think that's really a big deal. I could be wrong. I haven't looked through all this stuff, and I don't really plan on it. Now, when we move on to our next one, we're going to our green cards. Then, as you can tell, they kind of have the little sword icons on both sides. Again, a little bit more ornate. So these are all green cards coming through. Some of them. Okay, we got some coming up here. I'm not going to show you all these cards. I don't want to see all these cards. That's just how I play. I like to be surprised. So again, as we're looking, again, we're going to get more ornate. So see the symbol is more ornate on the back. That's going to be more your blue cards. And then this symbol on the back of your cards is going to tell you what uh, the upgrade they get if they have all of the set gear. And here's the set gear for it, which is again, oh, is that... Well, the gold cards are all going to have this set symbol. Okay, so even more ornate with the little symbols on them mean the gold or the orange or yellow cards or gold cards, whatever those are. All right, and here's the green cards, more green cards. So let's see what else we got. We've got these. These are going to be probably more of the orange, yellow cards. Yep. So I hope that helps in figuring out what cards you have and what cards you don't. Um, again, these look like quest cards that you can get from a quest. These are from different types of expansions or from different... Uh, stories or something. I'm not exactly sure. I apologize. But again, we're going to see our numbers up here. One, and this little symbol means it's a quest card you get. Let's see, this one is from number two. So this must be from treasure deck two. Um, here's one from deck three. And then these, oh, these are this guy's cards. The <laughs> so these are the uh, cards for 
the Spriggan because he actually creates his own cards. So those are his. Here's some more. These are from different expansions or yeah, here's again. These are the cards for the Spriggan. He actually can't get items. He creates the items. Um, let's see what else we got here. And these are from number one again. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of little cards here. These are all the green cards. They're all right there. Now we've also got some other cards with a black background. These, I believe, are red. So I'm going to guess these are the ones for our Slaughter Field game. And here's all of them for that. That's my guess. Don't quote me, but I'm guessing the red means Slaughter Field. Those are our Slaughter Field items. What we have left are a little symbol with monsters on them. What's that? I'm going to guess these are the kind of cards you can win in the modules are these cards right here. That's my guess because they're all kind of purpley. I'm guessing that's the deal. We've got more cards here. These are more green items. Let's see what's, what's this one from. It must be again from maybe some kind. These must all be quest cards. If they don't have a one, two, or three up in the top or the symbol for the Spriggan, which, <laughs> which I figured out, they might be part of something from a quest or from a module. So you might get that from one of the module symbols because each module is going to have its own symbol for that module. And when you play the module, it might tell you to gain this item or something. So you have to look through and find it. Here's some more potions. Maybe again, these potions might be from a module or something. Here's more guys. So here's the picture of symbol for that modules right here. I know I'm just out of control. Here we go. And here again is a symbol. Oh, I know what this is. This is the items for the, uh, what's her name? The monk. The monk gets these cards. Those are her cards. Yeah, because those are the different fists. Let's see what these are. These are, oh, this is for the alchemist, I bet, the cracked barrel. So again, it's more mundane. It gets into the green items. And then I think she had a blue item in here, didn't she? Yeah. And there's the blue item. So see the symbol difference? Her blue items are drunken fist. All right, let's see what else we got. And here's some set cards. These are all orange cards. They show the little set symbol on them. So that means they're going to be the orange cards that kind of, or yellow cards that go together. There we go. That's the items. So that's all the items. They're all right there. Any questions about that, please leave me in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Now, again, I'm not going to go through each one of these. And if you say, hey, I want to know what this blue item does. I need to know the exact stats of it. I don't really want to do that. I like to leave a lot of these unknown. So as I'm playing and I'm flipping them over and I'll, I'll find out what that item is and be like, wow, that's really cool. Or what a bummer item. So I kind of like that kind of surprise for myself. So I'm not going to go through and give exact what they are but if you say like oh how many green items do you get from number one i can kind of go through and do that and do some card counts if you want that so that's all the items slide that off to the side hopefully not on the floor all right now we've got a whole entire stack of quests i'm guessing is what these are so you can do the modules which is what i like to do i really like to play the modules i enjoy the modules a lot but some people like this this is the quest deck and again, we've got little symbols up in the top. So that's from quest deck three. This is from quest deck two. And the first one is quest deck one, I bet. Yeah. So these are all the quest cards. And they also have symbols up here. Like this one, I believe, means it's a chained quest to another card. This one is a quest that just stands alone. Or maybe at the end of it will say, go uh, chain this to another quest. I'm not sure. So these are some of the quest cards. Now, if you're introducing people to myth, this wouldn't be a bad way to go. Because, for example, you could take this quest. It's called Tainted Booty. And you could play through this quest with a group. It tells you the tile, gives you what tile, kind of what to use, how to set it up, and what you need to do. <laughs> this might not have been the greatest one because this is all a bunch of question marks. But some, for example, will actually tell you kind of how to set it up. Let's go with Fallen Saints. Maybe that one will help. So, oh, nope, that failed too. Oh, come on. There's got to be one in here that's going to not make me look like a moron. Come on. Here we go. The Reckoning. Maybe that'll be good. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. So it tells you kind of how to set it up, who to use, what to do, what you need to do to complete it. And it gives you everything you need just to do for just one quest. And that's kind of maybe a good way to start people into this game. Or you can just go straight into a module. I recommend one of the one star or one, one skull ones, like <laughs> the Stone of Life. If you know how to learn how to play that, you should check out my videos on this channel. All right. Self-promotion out of the way. Here we go. We're going to look at some of the other stuff. I've got a whole stack of cards right here. We're going to go through a little bit of all of these here. This is all the darkness stuff, I think. So it starts with, we get the Terror of a Thousand Legs, and we get its, uh, like, 
what do you call it? They, they said they were going to give it an upgrade. So it's like it's third stage, which is like epic stage. That's what epic. Haha, <laughs> it's epic. And we got one for him, Orkness, and we got a two epic one for Bones. Here's our world boss that I've heard about. And it's got its own darkness deck for the world boss. Let's see here. And these, I think all are going to, they have stuff on the back. These are their abilities on the back. Now the darkness deck on the other hand is really just a darkness deck. Okay. Next we got, here's the Kraken. And it's got it's another world boss. And it's got a couple cards that go with it. And then it's got its own darkness deck. And I believe as you play, you're going to draw one of these each round to see what it does. And we got Nosferatu, which is a commander. Um, he's also, oh, he's also a titan. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, and he's got his own darkness deck. How about that? And here's the collector. He's one of the ones that unlocked at the very end. He's got his own darkness deck. Now here's, let's see what we've got here. These are another mini boss uh, agent of some kind. Here's some of the commanders, I believe. You're going to get, oh, this is a captain. Oh, here's a commander. Okay, commander here, commander here. Oh, they got the Fireborn stuff. So we got the stuff for the Fireborn. They've got all their abilities on the back. All the cards for the Fireborn quest are in here now. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we got oh, the TikToks. These are for the uh, <laughs> quest that involves the gear dudes. Here's their commander, their commander. Okay, so it's cool. We're getting all the commanders and everything. We don't have the miniatures yet, but you could make do. Here's the, what do you call these things? Slimes. We got all the way up to the boss and infected. Here's their commander. Here's the razor fiend guys. Here's the thieves all the way up to the commander and we got the boss and here's a couple of mini bosses that go along with it. It looks like, yep. And we got these guys all the way up through the commander. And then here's the boss, a couple of bosses. Here's a boss apparently mini boss. And then this stuff, okay, these are all, all the back of these are going to have just their abilities and things and what's, what the deal is with them. So these are the darkness guys. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is all characters from the darkness or else it's darkness decks that have to do with the epic bosses, it looks like. So there we go. There's the, there's those. These are all, I believe, for the, yeah, these are for Slaughterfield. This is Slaughterfield stuff. I'll, maybe that symbol right there means Slaughterfield because that's also what's on the item cards as well. They've got the slaughter field symbol. So that's the slaughter field stuff. We'll put that down. Now it looks like we got some more traps. And our trap cards look like that. Here's some more uh, quests. I don't know why they're here. They're all part of quest one deck. So I don't know why they're sitting here. Um, we've got Orkness one and two. Oh, these are the reprints of the base game, I bet. Bones, oh not the base game, sorry, the original Kickstarter stuff. Uh, Shamblers, Solus, yep. Bones 1 and 2, Taylor's Wrath, here's the four stages of the Rat King. Yeah, this is all from the original Kickstarter stuff. I believe that's what this is. And we've even got our captains. Oh, <laughs> we even got Connors in here too, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, these are, okay, this is, here's some of the uh, agents. And here's some of the items, or abilities you can get for defeating agents. And what is this? These are more quite, oh, I bet this symbol is an agent symbol. I bet these are quests for the agents. I bet. Yep. Okay. Didn't want to show you too much, but you could have paused the video and learned everything you wanted to. These look like are, they are going to be our ally cards. Well, there's Eve. So I guess I was wrong. It was not what I thought it was. All right. It's Eve. All right. We've got Finn. No idea who that is. Lucy. Here's Nikki. She's got some abilities. She rolls zero D10 and one attack. That's something. Okay. She can soothe. <laughs> soothe the backers. Is that what this is? Uh, let's see here. Each target within range has her TN reduced by two. That's not bad. All right. And then here are some other guys, Raf and Sir Roderick. So those are our allies, traps, and other things. So that looks like a lot of the darkness stuff, traps, and our slaughter field deck. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't want to try to go too in depth, but you know, I could probably do it if you really want to know, but I'm not going to read you every one of these darkness cards. I want to be surprised as I play through it and sometime in the near future. Here we go. Here is what people have probably all been waiting for. These are their characters, all the cards for the characters. We'll start with, we got our alchemist here. Let's see here. He's got a ton of cards. 
So it starts with our top card, which he can make potions and mixologists. I know that Megacon Games did do a run through of this character. So they did show you some of the base stuff. So you got all these little base cards here. The back's just these little normal darkness symbol. All right, and then you'll get your upgrade cards. Let's see what the difference is. I'm gonna have no idea what the difference is. I have no idea what this guy does. Well, I do, but I don't know where I'd be looking for a difference in this. I don't see any right off the top of my head. I'm sure it says it in the, yeah, I don't see anything. But it does have darkness cards. Focus potion, Ooh, we'll make a focus potion. Gnashing teeth, that looks pretty good. Targets everything, that's pretty good. Sorry about the glare if there are any, I apologize. I'm just kind of quickly running through it. Hustle. Okay, so these are really in no order at all. I've got white cards in with green cards. So you're not just, you're, it's not really gonna be in any order, but I know they're probably gonna have the, yeah, here's our journeyman cards. The journeyman cards are all at the end. So you get the journeyman cards near the end of each of these. So, and you, when you get yours, you'll be able to go through all these cards and check them out. So that's the alchemist. We got him. Here is the journeyman cards for the uh, hunter guy. I was lucky enough to get this, his uh, main cards, his novice deck from the Kickstarter that they did for the Mercs game thing. I, oh, darn, I can't remember the name of that one. But I was able to get the myth stuff from it. So we do have, I do have their, his journeyman cards. So if I ever decide to play him, I do have his cards. The next is the one of the guys I'm so excited for. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so excited for this person. It's the monk. Oh man, look at cards. I'm gonna love every one of these. They talk about the different rules for the fist items, the chi and the stance. Again, I'm not reading through my apologize. Again, Megacon Games did do a run through of this character. You can look on the internet and find it. It's there. And again, these cards are going to be mixed together. I don't know why this one would cost more to play. It's the upgrade card. But as I look through these and learn how this character works, I'm sure there's a reason for that. So there's got a couple of these dance under the moon cards. Attack, Blossom, Chi, one combo, Tiger, attack, one target within range. Roar. And everybody gets some hustle. And there you go. Hustles and stuff. There you go. Jaws of the Stalker. That looks kind of cool. Damage, two, one, all this stuff. Range combo critical. Attack, one target within range. If at least one Fate Dash result is Rage, gain a Chi. And it looks like she hits pretty easily. Oh, that's kind of a cool looking picture. Ignore one enemy attack targeting you. That's pretty good. Oh, I still want to play this character. Tiger fist. Tiger's teeth. This has to do with tiger fist. Damage one, range one, attack, combo, tiger, attack. One target within range. If at least one fate dice result is faith, attack against the holy cure. That's really cool. I like the fact that all it's she's just not the he and she is not just a base fate dice character. It can be all different things based on what you're doing. And here's the journeyman cards. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. Really looking forward to this one. And we've got the skull, which I believe is going to be a reprint, yes, of his original cards. Here's the reprint of his original cards. And then in sure he's going to have his, on that day, neutral verse. Each hero within range may reduce threat by two. You gain two threat. Now, again, it's got its, uh, how it plays here. And I believe, I wonder if the video is still there. I know that Megacon Games actually played him in a, like, kind of a game they were playing. I don't know if he actually did an actual run through of just this character. It'd be kind of tough because this is more of a support character. So you can't really just run it against a bunch of people. I bet you can. I, I'm not going to say you can't, but I bet it'd be pretty tricky, if anything. And here's, okay, so his are actually in order. You got all the orange, those, and you got all the black ones here. Here's next one, Spriggan. So our Spriggan is going to have its, re, its original cards redone, which is really sweet. So it's got the original cards redone. Here's how to use him. Now, like I screwed up on the item cards, his he creates his own weapons. So he actually has access to all those weapons based on if he's able to play them out of here. Maybe I can show you one. Oaken Armor, for example, says, 
Conjure Durability 3, equip the Oaken Armor item. When it is destroyed, return the Oaken item to your inventory. Item to your inventory. So he has access to all these uh, as, as he plays through. So for example, Acorn again, Conjure Essence 2. Equip the Acorn item. You must spend one Essence to play a spell card. When all Essence is spent, return the Acorn item to your inventory. So that's just part of how he's played. I haven't played much of this character, so I don't really know fully how he goes. But he do have the, his cards seem to be kind of intermixed in here uh, with, the, with the white ones in some, some fashion here. Tangling Root, Summon Elder. Ooh, that's, this one, I remember this one. This summons a whole big tree to fight for you. Amber. So this is going to be more of the, yeah, here we go. Ironwood Armor. This is going to, now this is Durability 5. He, these are kind of like his blue items, I believe. And now he's also got these Journeyman cards coming too. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So awesome. Oh, Razor Fiend Pack. What's this? He can summon Razor Fiend Sweetness. All right. So that is our Spriggan. And last but not least, we've got our Trickster. Here is our Trickster. He has parts and traps. He's kind of a fan favorite. A lot of people like to play this guy. I really haven't played much of him yet either. But he's got his base stuff, his bang powder, his metal casings. You do some dodge. You make blades. These are all different parts. And then here's his uh, traps and stuff he creates, which are pretty cool. Big bada boom. Kind of reminds me of uh, the fifth element. Big bada boom. Yeah, here you go. Big bada boom. I speak only two languages, English and bad English. All right, let's see here. What else have we got? Innovate. Yep, some of these, they're all intermixed again. And then in the back, he's got his journeyman cards, which are pretty cool. Awesome. All right, like I said, I haven't looked through much of this. You saw me open each one of these things individually, so I haven't had a chance to look through everything. That is the box. And the box. And the two cardboard boxes. That's everything. So. I'm really pumped for this. I'm really excited to sit down and look through this stuff. What I'm really excited to do is spend <laughs> all the waking hour I have reading through this because again, I the camera will never do this justice on just how cool this book is. It's fully leather, it's fully it's fully sweet. It's got gold leaf. It's it's uh, the only thing it could have had was maybe a couple of those little feathery things that go in it would have been pretty cool. But we can't be too begging for too much stuff. I'm really excited that Megacon Games was able to actually make this happen. I know there was a lot going on. Nobody will ever know the whole story, but I know there was so many things going on and I'm just really excited that this came out. I'm glad that the myth, myth will continue in theory based on the, what I've been hearing from the new company that's bought this company or working with this company, however that all shook out. I'm not really that, I'm, I'm just a consumer. I just play the games. I don't know the ins and outs of everything that happens. So here's all that, that was everything from here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm also gonna post a link to all of Mike's stuff in the comments below. And I'm even gonna try to put the link to the Facebook group. And I believe you can just ask to be invited. And if you're really into myth, that's a great place because they lost the FAQs, they lost the website. I believe their forum is gone. I believe Megacon's forum is gone. So it's a really great place to ask questions and just get to know people that really like the game of myth. So that being said, this is it. This is the myth unboxing video that I've been waiting for since 2016. So I'm really excited for this. If you can't tell by <laughs> how fast I'm talking and by how much I'm rambling. Let's finish the video here. If you like it, give it a like, subscribe, hit the bell symbol, you know when my next video is coming. And I'm planning to do that third act of myth, the stone of life coming soon. With that being said, I thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your support and I'm just, I'm, I hope you guys love myth as much as I do because I do and I'm just excited to bring more of it to the table. With that being said, if you wanna see more of this, I need you to meet me at the table.